tuning out through the back ears. Unfortunately, I had all kinds of footage of my racing seats, um, unpacking them, putting the seat tracks on, and starting this mount, seat track mount for the racing seats, and I lost it all. So, I got to start from scratch. Um, these are the racing seats here. Um, my thanks to my dad, he ordered them for me. Um, should work out well. Um, black with some gray. They feel pretty stiff, but hopefully they'll work into them. As you can see, I got the truck all gutted out here. So basically, what I'm doing is using the factory seat mount and going to just use the same holes that was used on so I don't have to drill any extra and then I'll use the seat belt ones for the actual racing seat belts that I got coming so basically I ripped the frame off of the bench seat and I've just been modifying it here um, with brackets going across and then each racing seat will sit right here and then this wide open spot in the middle I'm gonna build a big center console so that's what's been going on as of now sorry for the lost footage um, it was like two hours worth of footage so uh, this will probably be a shorter video because I'm already almost done with this other than We'll finish welding it up and then drilling the holes for the actual seats and mount. So, keep watching. Some welding love. <laughs>so basically as you can see there I keep break, popping the breaker so I have to go all the way back here to freaking rip it back most places have them in the garage but this place has it out in the back because then it wouldn't be as bad to have to keep flipping it all the time. But that's the name of the game because I rent this place. And all the circuit breakers are only 15 amps. So get what you get.